This is bad of me, I know, but when he was sleeping, I did have a look through his phone. <laughs> Went through his emails and bam, there was the order confirmation from TikTok shop. TikTok. Four pounds <laughs> 50. <laughs> So what does red love signify? <gasps> what does red, is that a bad love? Red, well, she's saying red, then you, you just looked away like red, red love. love. So what does that mean? Yeah. It means it's a bad kind of love. A bad kind of You've love. You've walked yeah. away from me. It's red. All I see is Danger. red. Yes. Warning. Well, red is alert, but also red is the color of love. Red is the color. Maybe that's something, you know, maybe there's something to say about that. Go on. Love and danger. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You're a poet and you don't know it. Yeah. Dangerously in love. Yeah. Beyonce said it first. Sing it for us. <laughs> <laughs> Sing it for us. I forgot the tune of so Dangerously in Love. But she's in the white vest with the jeans. And uh, Dangerously white shorts. in love with you. No, you... no, 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 no. That's a different song. Oh, what's <laughs> that one? You set me, me free. free. What's that? <laughs> That's a different song. How does Dangerously in Love go by Beyonce? That is a song, right? Yeah. Dangerously in love. But she doesn't say that. Oh, does she not? No. <laughs> Silent pause, waiting for Lucy to do some Googling. <laughs> she has got a song called Dangerously in Love. Well, we did listen. Oh, Destiny's Child. Oh. And how does that one go? We just need the tune. So what's the song where she's in the white vest and the shorts? The iconic one. I've got one. no idea. Love with you. Oh my God. You <laughs> set me free. <laughs> love you, love you. That's <laughs> Destiny's Child. Who <laughs> knew? No. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, well done, So dangerously in love with you. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. That's not that one. No, no, no. That's a different song. <laughs> what? Wow. That's a different I'm song. I'm in love with you. You said, so... When you're dangerously in love, it's a scary kind of love. Yeah, because it's like, you know, this is dangerous. This is dangerous because I could get really hurt here. I'm not sure my heart is safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you can you keep hold of it? Can you look after my heart? Right, because I'm giving is, it is, to you. This is starting to feel like a red love. love. <laughs> red, red, red love. Ooh. Wow, mm. Pia Mia, we miss you, girl. We miss you, Pia. We loved you. We did. We, we still were your do. Biggest still do. Still listen to you. Yeah. Incredible, beautiful still tune lady. In. Mm. We do still tune in. We had a Pia Mia session the other day, didn't we? I dreaming. <laughs> you you were so <laughs> different. <laughs> I want to give myself away. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You can't wait too much. No, that. no, no, no. Do you really feel those she words? She's in the recording booth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, right. You must be worth it. You know, when you deep the words. When you deep the words, we were singing that at 13. Yeah. I wanna <laughs> give myself <laughs> away. <laughs> Shut <Stop>. up. <laughs> Like, it's not normal. It's not okay. You must be worth it. <laughs> yeah, and we won't speak no. on the music video. Oh, God, the music video. No, actually, we won't. We won't speak on that. Right. I actually um, have like something that's not a laughing matter. Happy Wednesday. But I'm going to talk about it later. What? I've been dying to tell you what happened to me last night, but I had to say. Oh, it. my God. <laughs> but we've been in an hour. No, we've been I in the car together for an hour. You haven't mentioned I, this. I, you, you, I went through things last night that you're not going to believe. What? <laughs> we've been and I've been dying for like I, two I hours. I had to save it. I had to save it. Oh, you're, go on then. You no, know, you're not going to believe it. Why? Right, so there's that new series on Netflix. Have you seen it on the homepage? Called One Day, right? <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got the boy in it from White Lotus season two. Wait, it's not One Day and Hathaway One Day. Well, well, wait a second, yeah. 
So it had the White Lotus Boy in. It's 14 episodes. So I just Fuck. put, you know, and obviously we, you know, Traitor's finished, we needed something to watch. Yeah, eh? I'm desperate. Yeah, so I put it on the other day. It was fine. I was kind of on my phone, you know, I watched seven episodes. They were like half an hour long. Okay. Each episode, just whizzing through. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever. And then uh, last night I was like, right, I'm on episode seven. I might as well just finish this now. You know, it started at about 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I was on my phone here and there, here on my phone here and there. And obviously it's it's a story of friends. Are they lovers? Are they not? It, and it's like, you know, years and years go by and it's that, oh, he's a got classic. a child. I've got a boyfriend. Child. You know, it's the classic. Mm. Our classic favorite We've heard tale. it many a times, yeah. And then all of a sudden, and I'm not thinking of anything. I'm just watching. All of a sudden she's on a fucking bike. Bingo. Been here before. Sophia. Mm. But why didn't I realize what I was watching? I don't know. I didn't realize what I was watching. She was on a bike and they were just making up on the phone. They just made up over voicemail. I'm sorry, this is big fat spoilers. Smashed. Yeah. Car. We've seen it before. I didn't realize it was one day Anne Hathaway. So 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 have they made a series Yes, identical to the film? And I didn't realize. I was just watching it. Right, what, the whole time Sophia, you're watching Sophia, it, Sophia, Sophia, and then the move, I was just the title. feeling the love. They'd finally got together. They'd finally got together. They were in love. I was like, oh, thank God for that. You know, brilliant, happy, happy. And they just had an argument that morning. They'd made up over voicemail. She yeah. was like, I love you. You know, I, I, as she got struck down by the fucking car, he was listening to the voicemail say, it, you know, and, he, and she was like, I love you. You know, blah blah blah. Then she gets literally run over by a car, dies. Yeah, and then it was in that moment. Because she was, she was on the bike and I was like, hang on a second. She's not going to get smacked down, is she? By a fucking bus like Anne did. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Then in that moment, I realized it was fucking One Day and the Anne's film was called One Day. Yeah. And then I didn't realize because, you know, we watched that film when we were 12 years old. <laughs> we were young when we watched that. Because <laughs> then I was Googling it like, hang on a second. Came out in 2011. Wow. You were 12 and I was 13 and we were in the cinema and we watched that. And that's ingrained So I in guess us. a lot of people don't know it. Yes. Lydia, oh. right, because then I called Lydia straight away. I was in tears. I was sobbing. Sophia, I was uncontrollable. Yeah. Then the last couple episodes, I was sobbing. So don't watch it. No. Because you just break your own heart. And I so just you didn't, didn't re- realize. Sophia, I didn't realize that what you I was were watching. in for the same thing again. I didn't realize that we were watching our good old Anne Hathaway a struck classic. down by the We've bus referenced scene. referenced it many a time. Yeah, struck down by the bus scene. I didn't oh, realize no. what I was watching. And oh, I was crying. No. I, was, I was, had puffy eyes all night. Oh, no. I know. God. I didn't know that's what I just thought I, it was a funny rom com. No. No. It lures you in. Yeah. And then, yeah, I just realized that, yeah, we were 13 when we watched that film. You were 12. Yeah. yeah. And I, I thought, remember- who lets into that cinema? It was it, 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 not a fun film for a 12 and 13 year old. I remember us watching it in the cinema yeah. and us saying, like, watch her get killed now. No, and then went, oh, mm-hmm. a bus is going to mow her down. And I went, shut up. They've just got together. Bloody did. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we were crying? We must have been. I don't think so. Oh, I really? think we were like, oh my God, I can't believe we just predicted the end of the film. Yeah. But then it's just like you're left deflated. Like at the end yeah. of the series, I was like, that was just sad. That's why I don't watch even shit a, like that. It wasn't even a happy ending. Like he was just sad. I don't like to consume movies, television, anything of the sort that leaves me feeling depressed. Yeah. Well, I just can't believe I just got I stick like to that. Modern Family. Yeah. Friends. Big Bang. Yeah. And the Iron Claw. The Office. The Iron Claw. God, that was, <laughs> that was, that, that did. Yeah. That but then did it was, it was nice at the end when you saw yes. the family, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I don't like to consume sad stuff because no. that just throws me off. What? I don't want to be sobbing at well, night. exactly. In my house. You should have seen me. Puffy eyes. So. Who wants that? No, not me. Uh, and yeah, obviously I have enough I, of that with my I books. Just didn't, yeah, I just didn't know what I was in for. And then, you know, I was just crying on a Tuesday night. Should have put a bit of Michael McIntyre on to lighten well, the mood. Well, then it was like half 11. I was like, it's bedtime. So I had to go to sleep with, you Sweet know. Sweet dreams. Yeah, it was awful, awful. Mm, yeah. But yeah, I just can't believe I got trapped like that. Didn't know it was a remake, didn't have a clue. And then, well, yeah, be safe out there, guys, on I, Netflix. When she got hit, I thought, oh, she's alive. She didn't look dead. Mm. She was just laying on the ground. She didn't look dead to me. But then she went, her eyes just went. Empty. And I was like, oh, for fuck's sake, she's fucking dead. Heartbreaking. Yeah, anyway, so um, sorry Happy about the spoilers. Happy Wednesday then. Um, it's not a spoiler because the film came exactly, out. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. If anyone's it's not got, new. If anyone's got a brain, yeah. I guess, but I guess if you're younger than us, then you will have no clue because you were too young. You were too well, then you're too young to watch it as well. We must have just got sad. let in because it was a 12A because obviously I, I googled it. Yeah, yeah. 
It was a 12A, yeah, and we were 12. Orange Wednesday's two for one, probably. We most probably likely. did go on a Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. Okay, question <laughs> of the week. This one, short and simple, because we were giggling about the uh, baddest of the month. <laughs> that can't be real. How though. that girl, now whenever I hear that song, I just think about that poor girl. When are you hearing that boy song? boy was singing that to her. I heard it in a shopping center. Really? And I was like, I think I heard it in Sainsbury's. Did I hear it in Sainsbury's? No, really? I think I heard it in some shop. And I was like, oh my God. Do the you want to dance, baby. baby? So our question of the week this week, inspired by uh, a recent dilemma. What's the weirdest thing someone has said to you during sex? See, ah! oh, oh, because words can really throw you off. Like you've got to be very delicate with your words. A one night stand said, let's make a baby. <laughs> Absolutely not. Someone said, you'd look so good pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Call me a dickhead in a sexy voice. You dickhead. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> say, I beg your pardon. No, I'm sorry. No one could Language. say to me, you'd look good, you'd look good pregnant. Especially a one night stand. Absolutely Whoa. not. Do you want to be exclusive? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be asking me that in the moment. <laughs> Their ex's name. I was the second person he'd ever slept with. Oh, my old boyfriend called out mummy. Oh, oh, oh. It was so weird. Oh, wait, why? Squeezed my boob and awkwardly said, fun bags. <laughs> no, no I, I can't even laugh at these. He rip it like a goddamn frog. Rib it? <laughs> Robert. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. You know, when I'm in my most vulnerable fully, state. Fully sang Uptown Funk. Uptown, Uptown Funk you up. up. Said Uptown Funk you up. I'm oh the my. king. I'm the king. <gasps> oh, go, 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 oh. Another mummy one. Oh. 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 I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Someone said, mm, so tight like a small bagel hole. <laughs> Who's saying this oh. shit? <gasps> okay, well, ah. I did not know what you were about to say. I'm glad you said small bagel hole. Oh my God. Oh. 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 She's put, just finished, pretends to look at fitness watch. Well, that's my 10,000 steps done for the time. <laughs> oh, what, with their Apple Watch are still on. Oh. oh, so were men not taking? Are people not taking their Apple Watches off when they're when having they're sex because they want to log the exercise and the calorie burn? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Start activity. <laughs> Sexual intercourse. Go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and wow, cool wow, Friday. four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes fifty nine. Wow. <laughs> Wow, you really got my heart oh, rate up a mere, there. A mere 200 calories. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a record, hey, Susie? <laughs> you know, I've seen some people put their Apple Watches on their ankles. No way. So it's a proper step. <laughs> is it that deep? <laughs> I don't know. So imagine, let's just strap up for the evening. Brilliant. <laughs> so you've, it's like you got out from prison. <laughs> Well, I say people, I saw one lady who was on her walking She was doing pad it. And she had it on her ankle. Wow, good for her. Well, no, I guess it, it, it's a it's an accurate stepping. Yes, right? yeah. He called me a rat by accident. <laughs> you dirty little rat. Sang the Gilmore Girls theme song. What's the Gilmore Girls theme song? Um, Lydia would know it. Oh, I was started yeah, watching, watching it. I you? know. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. I can't think of that in the moment. Okay. You did, um, someone slapped me around the face and I was in complete shock. Then he said, sorry. <laughs> oh, physical pain. Do you like pain? I want you to put on a strap on so I can give you a blowjob. <laughs> Whoa, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My weirdo ex said to me, tell me. Tell me you want daddy's milk. <laughs> the camel's milk. The camel's milk. There's 
no way. There's no way. Daddy smell. There's no <laughs> way. Let me eat your dick. I'm a girl. <laughs> I'm what? I'm a girl. Oh, let me eat your dick. She's like, I don't have one of those. <laughs> I'm a oh, girl. I just got it. Oh, my God. Oh. Alexa, play watermelon sugar. <laughs> Tastes like strawberries. strawberries. It's on, very <laughs> on a summer's evening. Oh, oh. yeah. A, a lot of um, I'm gonna put a baby in you. Oh, oh, oh. You know, in the moment they they, they want to procreate. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, my dick's so small. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way. No, please. There's no way. Why? What do you respond to that? I'm sorry, it's so little. <laughs> I love your body. It's so symmetric. <laughs> a lot of I love yous on one night stands. Right, okay. Asked to be called captain. <laughs> All aboard, captain. Permission to come aboard. Permission to come aboard, When we captain. were about to do it, he said, let's do the deed. <laughs> she put grotesque. <laughs> let's get it on. <gasps> Bit me and said, sharky bite bite. <laughs> Please. Oh, it feels feel like home. <laughs> Ew, please. He drooled on me. Oh, please. <gasps> oh. oh, I am the chosen one. <laughs> Ew, Ew. What, like you, Jesus? Oh, my <gasps> God. Oh. <laughs> he stopped mid thrust and said, I won't carry on unless you say yes to being my girlfriend. <gasps> That's blackmail. blackmail. <laughs> Bloody hell. This girl said, this guy said to me once, this is lovely. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't this just lovely? Oh, <laughs> are you enjoying this? I that. This is lovely. I would take ones. that out of every yeah. other single one, I think. <laughs> oh, that was oh brilliant. My God. God. What are the chances, oh, hey? The sh Siri. Isn't this lovely? Alexa. Play Alexa. watermelon sugar lips. <laughs> watermelon sugar, sugar lips. Sugar lips. <laughs> watermelon sugar lips. Lips. <laughs> okay, let's get into some dilemma, guys. It's boy talk this week. Yes, we're talking all about these silly little boys yeehaw. that we have in our lives. Hey, yeehaw. Hey, hey. Sorry, it's so small. Here, here. Let's do this. Wait, what was the bagel? What was bagel hole one? So tight, small, like a little bagel hole. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so tight and small, like a little bagel hole. We love bagels too. Mm. Don't ruin bagels for me, please. Oh, we love bagels. Okay, so we're going to quickly follow on from Valentine's Day to start this week's episode Absolutely. because we've got oh. a couple <clears throat> Valentine's dilemmas still trickling in, but we're just going to do one. And we've got here, my boyfriend is lying about the price of my gift. I mean... Interesting. Why are we talking about the price of the gift? Yeah, exactly. How's like, this come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, he might just, maybe he's just said it, you know, it was... Uh, I spent a lot of money on that. I spent, you know? Yeah, you know, keep that safe. Yeah, it was, that was, that was yeah. expensive. That. Hi, girls. Um, been a Hello. silent listener for two years now. Thank you. Uh, uh, Thank um, you for being CZ. here today. For context, Thank I am, you for being here today. I'm a tw Name that reference, guys. Name that movie. I'm a 20-year-old girl and I've been with my boyfriend for almost four years. Congratulations. We've had a pretty smooth sailing relationship, except bickers and getting on each other's nerves from time to time. And we are saving for a house together. Congratulations. Congratulations. So with Valentine's Day, me and Brian decided we'd do gifts early as I'm working on valentine's day until late so we won't be able to see each other on the day we're both going away on holiday three days afterwards so we agreed we'd do a little 30 pound budget nothing major nice. or fancy just something to mark nice. the occasion yes. Yes. show our appreciation yes. that's nice anyway budget, actually i get to brian's and he gives me my gift it was a box full of fake roses and a Ooh. necklace. Ooh. When I opened it, I said thanks. And for some reason, we got onto the topic of how much it cost. Okay. She put, I don't even know how it came up. Yeah. He goes, it's about 50 quid. I ignored the budget. Yeah, 
<laughs> well, I went over budget. No, listen, let's just say that. I, listen, I appreciate someone saying, I went over budget for you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, um, uh, but she said, I mean, I could tell it wasn't. No offense, Brian, but it really wasn't that nice and looked a little bit tacky. Also, FYI, I'm a gold jewelry girl and it was silver. Okay. But I didn't say that to him because I did appreciate the gesture, yes. the meaning yes. behind it. Yes. Okay. Anyway, this is bad of me, I know. But when he was sleeping, I did have a look through his phone. <laughs> Went through his emails and bam, there was the order confirmation from TikTok shop. TikTok. Four pounds 50. <laughs> she said, I was shook. For context, I don't care about expensive yes. gifts or material things. Yes. My dream gift would have probably been a love letter. Yeah. But I don't get why he lied about the price so yeah. much. I think it's really off-putting. Yeah. I guess I just want your girl's opinions on how I should bring it up with him without being without it being heated and yeah. why do you think he would lie when he knows i'm not a materialistic girl at all thanks for reading well he i think he was just trying to impress you in that moment me too i think he you came know, from a good place yeah i think he obviously didn't want to say like four pound fifty because who would <laughs> how much was it or about, about 50. 50. <laughs> so in, oh, about 50 quid. Yeah, like about 50 quid. Yeah, yeah. it was about 50 quid or 60, yeah. 56. It was right yeah, there. about that. Yeah, it was bit about, change. could have been more. I didn't really look yeah. at the price. You know, it's really, You're worth it. Yeah, I don't really look at the prices on things. Do you know how I'm Doesn't like, really bother me. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe he just was... Yeah, just got a bit caught off guard and thought, yeah. shit, well, I can't tell you it's £4.50. <laughs> so he just like... I think for him, that was just a bit of a white lie. Yes, I me don't too. think there was anything malicious behind it. No, I think, I think he, that was just a bit of like, oh, awkward. He was trying to impress you in the moment. And then also boys don't understand that like, we, you know, we can tell jewelry. You know, like, you know, like, um, it's like that when you hold up a lip gloss and you say uh, to the boy, how much does this cost? Yeah. And they'll go 50p. 25 pounds. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, wait, this was a 30 pounds lip balm. You know, it's like, it's that same thing. Like he thinks, oh yeah, that could pass for 50 quid. I'll just tell her it was 50 yeah, quid. Yeah, when yeah, realize yeah. When realised you're like, look, I can tell it was for, it was, it was below the five would pound you, mark. So she's saying, would you, would you say to him like, look, I know it was four pound 50. I don't think I would, because I wouldn't want to embarrass him. I don't think I would either. And then moving forward, like present wise, he's going to, get really nervous about presents and, and prices how much spending moving forward right but but i know what you mean like i wouldn't have a problem about the pricing i'd have a problem like look i'd rather you have like made a scrapbook mm. like if you weren't going to spend a lot of money i'd rather you have made a beautiful scrapbook of like pictures or like written me a, a fucking love note with yeah. confessing your well i guess it's also because like the reason we set a budget is so we're both spending the same amount on each other yeah and i've gone out and spent my full 30 yeah. quid and you've spent four and you spent four pound fifty that's actually mm. uh, would piss me off yeah mm. at least spend the fucking Full fit, 30 25, quid. 30, roundabout. Yeah, like get me a pair of Boo Avenue slippers mm. as well. But I, I have to say, I, I don't actually think I'll mention it. No, I, no, because I wouldn't want to embarrass him. I think like, I don't think it was a I wouldn't want malicious, to like secrecy thing. I think it was more just like, he found something cute on TikTok shop. Yeah. It was only £4.50. He thought that would do. Well, and then he's just, he's in a white lie and said, oh, it was 50 probably in the moment. Yeah, because he probably wasn't expecting to tell you how much it was, Yeah, because right? who is? Because who, who, who is? If I, if I can get a bargain mm. and I'm giving it to someone, for, I'm not saying, oh, I, I got the biggest bargain on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was 50% off. Cost me fuck all, off. Cost mm. me fuck all have it. You know, yeah, that, there you go. Because it looks like, you know. Yeah. So Maybe it was on sale. Maybe, yeah. Exactly. TikTok mm. shop has loads of sales. I don't, yeah. I think I would just brush this under the rug if it were me. Well, it's the same as like if you went shopping and your dad was like, what have you bought now? Mm. In that moment, you'll go, oh my God, it was, it was, oh, only it was four, so cheap. It was only four pounds down. It was on sale. It was a massive sale. Yeah, 70% No, off. seriously, it was 70% off. Oh, <laughs> spitting. Seriously, it was like nothing down. It's a, really, right? it's 80 quid. Right. But like in that moment. I'm going to wear it all the time. Yeah, all the time. Your cost per wear is so high, you know. <laughs> so but low. It's so low. It's so low. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> You're going to see me in this every day. 200 days of the year. Mm. Right. But then when you ask your boyfriend how much this is, he wants to go, oh yeah, it was about 200 quid. Oh yeah. Yeah, because he wants to show. expensive. 
Yeah, I won't say. I won't even say the price. Yeah, God, you won't want to know. Yeah, it cost me a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it cost me a lot of money. <laughs> you know, it's like because like, he yeah. wants to impress you. Mm, he wants to flex. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like when your dad buys your mum some Oh, yeah. 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 You yeah. know? Just What's, hang on to it. Just be yeah. careful with it. Be careful. Well, we should get that insured, I reckon. Yeah, we should get it insured. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll put that in my home insurance. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Precious cargo. <laughs> so he was just trying to, yeah. you know, be like, yeah. I think let it. I think let yeah. this one go. To be honest, I, think, I do. I think you know, if you catch him in another white light or another white line, mm. then maybe be like, look, I know you've been white line a yeah. little bit. <laughs> it's a couple of things. Maybe just keep it in the bank for a yes. later date. Because I just, if it becomes relevant again, yeah. Because I, I just think he'd be so embarrassed. Yeah. And I think But also it, then I'd be like, come on, spend the twenty five quid. You've only spent twenty four pounds fifty. Mm. No, you've only spent Am I no, getting you've twenty got, quid no, cash you've got as 20? well or <laughs> at least pay for me toes. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Some petrol money? Yeah, at least, you know, pay yeah, wait, so what is the math on that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is the you take away four pounds fifty? <laughs> take it away. <laughs> twenty six fifty. No, no. no. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> 25, 50. 50, 50. Yeah, because yeah. you've got 50 p. That extra 50, if it was yeah. 20, If it was four pounds, we'd be looking at 26 pounds. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it's 25. Yeah, so spend the full budget. I, yeah. I, I, I don't want you to... This is it. I don't want you to go under budget and then lie to me that you went over budget. That's unless, a weird lie. Unless actually he did buy the flowers, the fake roses, plastic roses. So you can get them in Poundland for one pound. Oh, can you? What, a couple fake petals? I thought I was picturing a bouquet. Oh. Like those ones that live in a box that you can keep oh, forever. Oh, was it those? Because they, they could have been oh, I was 20 quid, 25 quid. Some rose petal confetti in the box with the jewellery because he tried to zhuzh up oh, the appearance oh, of, the, of the... Of the gift. Yeah. Hmm. I would let it slide personally. Me too. I would let it Me slide. Me too. But yeah, I'd be waiting for that twenty quid to come through the through, through the. Yeah, I'll the, be uh, setting a bigger budget at Christmas. When I open that's that card, sure. <laughs> in the envelope. <laughs> Sorry, it's like missing twenty pounds. In here. Looking for the rest of the budget. <laughs> Speaking of cash, so on, on the flip side, we, so we've got on one hand we've got one boyfriend spending a mere four pounds fifty. 50, 50 pounds on a, on a necklace. So that's what we say wrong, isn't it? Necklace. Necklace. Necklace, yeah. And people say that's weird, but you meant to say necklace. Which is the one we say that people go, why'd you say it like that? Necklace. We say necklace. Yeah. Ne and it's meant but to be it's necklace. it's supposed to be necklace, I think. Well, we're not necklace. It's so a necklace. Necklace, yeah. Necklace, yeah. Lucy, what do you say? Necklace. Necklace. We've always right, said necklace. So we say necklace. <laughs> <laughs> necklace. <laughs> so necklace. Like, necklace. Sounds, necklace sounds like you don't have a neck. <laughs> necklace. <laughs> Lace yeah. neck. Necklace. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. So on the flip side, we've got a boyfriend spending excessive amounts, not on his own girlfriend, on his female best friend. On his female. So boyfriend spend spe boyfriend spending serious money to see girl. Best friend. Oh, okay. this would take a lot of breathing exercises from myself. Yes, a lot of patience, yeah, a lot of understanding. Unless he was also spending a lot on me. Yep. Yes. But if I'm if getting, the spending was unusual, if the spending was, uh yeah. Well, well, well. Let's picture it. It was that couple. You spent a mere four pound fifty on my Valentine's gift, but you're spending fifty quid. There and back on train tickets. Oh, I was picturing a two thousand pound flight. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know where we were travelling off to, but yeah, fifty pound there and back. Mm. Crazy. And you're thinking, hmm. and, and you got yourself a hotel. Mm. Right. Hi, girls. Hello. Hi, Susie. Susie Lou. Susie I've Q. got a bit of an issue, Sounds and would like love to it. hear your advice and opinions on this. Absolutely. So I've been with my boyfriend for almost three years. We have met each other because I went to study abroad. Sophia, we, uh, I think we might be flying. I have met multiple of his friends and have, be and have been welcomed into his friend group. Great sign. When we were one year together, he told me about his friend, Susan. 
Took a year for Susie to come up. That's interesting. Alarming. Mm. Mm. A whole a year, whole year. Yeah. Mm. of his who was studying abroad and visiting the home city during the summer. Okay, fair enough if she wasn't in the country, mm, okay. but also weird. Weird. She was a very nice girl. Oh, great. Super friendly and just generally nice to talk to. I also met her boyfriend. Okay, good. This is good. I got a bit more background info from my boyfriend afterwards. They were in a friendship group of four people, two guys, two girls. Hmm. Convenient. And he had always had a crush on her. <sighs> Stop right there. Okay. Stop right there. You didn't need to say that. You didn't need to tell me that. Ignorance. What is yeah. it, Chintz? It's 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 bloody blessed. It's yeah. bloody fucking blessed. Especially in this. So you're telling me now this girl I've met multiple times, you had a crush on her. No, 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 no. no I no, don't no. need to no, know no, that. No. Fair enough. Okay, but I don't need to know that. No, no, no. I don't need to know that. Not at all. That was a sentence you could have left out. I always had because now on I'm her. looking at this all differently. Well, now I know, and that, it's your fault. Well, now I know if she had made advances on you, you would have gone there. Yeah, yeah. And it was simply her having a boyfriend or her not you know, being interested, not in being you interested in at you the moment that you, you, you ended up with me. Yeah, but she was your first choice. Mm. What am I? Just sloppy seconds? <gasps> <sighs> okay. God. I mean, but then on the other hand, he's being honest. Too honest for my Too liking. honest, but he's being honest. Yeah, yeah, but you he's know, just being Would you stupid. rather hear that from, you know, you know, his other mate, Brian, who went, oh, you have the biggest crush on Susie. Did you now? Did you fucking now? <laughs> Ooh, that's Ooh. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's a yeah. crush, did you? Oh, crush. Mm, yeah. yeah, true. Right? So at true. least you're in the know. You're in the know. Rather than not being in the know, you know. He you probably know, did the know. right thing. Yeah, he probably did. He just shouldn't have had the crush in the first but place. But it's like, we're never going to respond well to that. No, yeah. never. <laughs> never. He said he had always had a crush on her. Always. But, God. Uh, but because... Not even, oh, I used to, you know, when I was actually about 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always. Fuck off with that terminology. Yeah. But because the other guy had one on Susan as well, they decided that neither was allowed to pursue her. Oh, so it was a pact. Oh, okay. Oh, God. So you were both God. upset. So you are both obsessed with Susan. Brilliant. Great brilliant. to know. So what, she's just dropped dead. It's gorgeous, isn't she? Not brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. He is still besties with the other guy. So they've got this little, like, oh, this little the dream girl. <sighs> right, okay. Excellent. So he would have pursued her if it wasn't for the pact. Yeah. <laughs> And you wouldn't be emailing him right now because you wouldn't be with this guy. Because he'd be snogging Susan every morning, every night. Mm. Seven days a week. Every hour, every, every minute, minute, every second. You know, night, night after night. night. I'll what be classic. Loving you right. A few weeks ago. Okay, so this is all news to you. Mm. You know, like you've not heard the name Susie in a year. Now this is all news and to And now me. this is all coming yeah, out. Yeah, right. A few weeks ago, my boyfriend told me that Susan had invited him to her uni ball. That sounds like a date. Yes. And where's your boyfriend? Where's your boyfriend? Is your Prince Charming not taking you to right. the ball? It requires him not only to buy a plane ticket, but also hotel nights, plural. Right, so it's not even like, look, we're all in the same city. Yeah, I'll pop by. Easy, I'll get the train down. You know, I'll bring get the a tube couple, over. Bring a couple friends. Yeah, and then I'll head back up to my It's mine a big social. After. It's, he's fl he, he, he likes her so much and he's so fond of her that he's going to fly there and, and spend a lot of money on a plane ticket and pay for like three nights in a hotel. Well, it's like, can you not say no to her? Yeah, it's like, I've not, we've never been on a staycation. Mm. In fact, in three years, we've been on one holiday. Yeah. And we split that 50 50. Yeah. And you're, you're, you're. But Susan calls. Susan calls and you drop. Everything. Dropped. Everything dropped. Let's go. And you're going to even like, what do they tie on the corsages? Corsage, yeah. You look gorgeous tonight, my lady. What, we're going to get a couple's pick? Arm in arm? What, we're going to have a matching tie and dress? Mm. You're going to have a yellow tie and she's going to be in a yellow dress? What, what yeah. next? What are you going to introduce me a to? A kiss people on the as? lips. Mm. You come back to my hotel or what? Got an empty room there, double bed, bit of champagne. <laughs> we've got Far those plastic. Away. We've got those plastic rose petals. Yeah, 
No, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. She said, it bothers me to know that he has had a crush on her and is and is now willing to spend so much money on just seeing her. I'd say no. And it's not in a group setting. Sorry, yeah. no, that's that's denied. Yeah. That's what's, not what's approved to holiday. Say, what's to say, what's to say? There's been half a bottle of wine consumed. You know, that's just enough to loosen the lips. Just enough. All it takes to is get that haze come over the you. Summer you know? haze. Was that? And a, also, what song is that? Summer haze. The lavender haze. haze creep, Taylor Swift. Creeping up on me. Yeah. This is a ball. I'm imagining we're celebrating. Woohoo! She's 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 he's knocking on. She's like, I'm just gonna slip into my dress. Zip me up. <gasps> he sniffs her neck. <laughs> No, it is though. She wafts her hair around. Yeah. It's like, Pheromones. Yeah. Can you just sit me up? Yeah. yeah. Sniffs the nape of her neck, kisses it. She falls back. <laughs> <laughs> On the Seriously? Bed. No, she falls back into his arms. Yeah. He's now got wrapped his arms around her, they're swaying. And she's like, what about, what about Helen? Oh, fuck Helen. <laughs> and there we go. Helen who? <laughs> It's always been you. Because <gasps> it fucking has. It has. it has. It has. No, I'm sorry to make this worse for you. No. For you, Helen. He's not going. He's not allowed. It, 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 he has to understand how uncomfortable this is going to make you. It's not and appropriate. It's, and it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Like, how would he feel if, you know, fucking Harry Styles invited you to his uni ball? Yeah. And you've had a crush on him since you were you were 12 years old. Yeah. And, and yeah. He wouldn't like he it, would he? He wouldn't bloody like that. No. But she's been with this guy for three years, was it? Three years? Fuck. And, but we only heard about Susan a year in. Mm. Don't like that. So it bothers me to know that he has had a crush on her and is now willing to spend so much money on just seeing her. And every time I ask to... D- yeah, here we go. It's not fair. And every time I ask to do something or go somewhere, it's always too expensive. Wow. Wow. The show your true colors yeah, now on the your brain. Double, the double standards are shrieking. Yes. Wow. Wow. Well, well, well yeah, because like you said at the start, fair enough, if we'd done a couple trips here and there. Yeah, or, if you or had if to he's, splash the cash. You know, if he's a frequent flyer. Yeah. You know, it's just another flight for Brian, you know. We do this all the time. Yeah, uh, you know, we, every month we're in a cute little cabin in the woods. Yeah, you we're know, always planning Snogging stuff. in jacuzzis, mm, right? But, yeah. But we're not. It's always too expensive. Yet he's willing to drop a big fat bag on flights, accommodation. Just see a girl that's not his girlfriend. Weird. Not, not the love of his life. <laughs> Whoa. I wholeheartedly, be- wholeheartedly <clears throat> believe that neither of them sees anything romantically. <laughs> Helen, Helen. What Helen. if Susan says to Brian <clears throat> tonight, I- I've always fancied you. How's he going to handle that Why isn't she inviting her boyfriend to the ball? Right. Why is she inviting your, your boyfriend, boyfriend to the ball? But also, why does she even need a date to the ball? Go with your friends. And if she's inviting multiple people, why aren't you going along? Right. Why is she not also inviting you? Right. But a date to the ball, that sounds like... I'm picturing just, just the two of them. Yeah. It's giving Cinderella movie snogging. Clock strike you know, with the masquerade, With the masquerades on. Let's do this. Yeah. A corsage and a lacy thong underneath. Maybe a corset even. Wow. It is just that he spends so much money on a girl that is not me. No, sorry. That not is okay. not right in my mind. No. When I told him this, okay. Oh. So you've said, look. What's this, going on here, big spender? You know, you know. I'd you like know, some of that action. The moment I want to, you know, just have a weekend away, you know, to get out of the city, mm. you know, it, it, it's it's a no. But but when Susie calls and asks you to fly you're across the country, you're jumping at the chance. You're jumping and you're booking hotels and you're buying yourself a new suit. Mm. When Stop I told, begging it. Right. <laughs> when I told him this, his answer was, yes, if you lay the facts out like this, of course, everyone will say, don't go. Well, okay. can't we agree on one thing okay. then, Brian? Then why, so that, but then she said, but why do you still want to go? Please help. That's literally it. So he's saying, well, we were, okay, when you say, well, it, when like you say that, it like that, I guess it looks kind of bad. Okay, then. Problem solved. End of Save discussion. Save your money. Mm. You know, you can spend that on me and you in the Cotswolds. Mm. 
Or are we in America, maybe? Or maybe we're Edinburgh and Cornwall. So it's at the end of the dilemma. That's it, please help. The last line was that. He said, yes, well, if you lay out the facts like this, and of course everyone will say, don't go. But he's still going. Please help. Um, I mean, yeah, I totally agree with you. I would feel the exact same way. Like if it's not I've been with a guy for three years, we don't really tend to do much. Like, yeah, we, we have a great relationship, but you know, we're not, we're not big spending on trips and staycations and things like, you know, if I'm suggesting something, he's saying too expensive. And also if he's making a point of like, I'd rather save that money for our future. You know, shit like that. Lovely, lovely. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I don't mind about any of that. But then, yeah, this girl that you've always had a crush on that you and your friend have had to have this pact that neither of you can date her. So that you would stay away from her because she's so irresistible. She's irresistible irresistible and then she calls you oh we want to go to this ball just with me, me and you just me and you and you're thinking yeah flights hotel suit you Food. know eating out whilst we're there drinks. drinks you know i'm sure he'll be buying her, her drinks. i think it's a bit of a slap in the face i would be the exact i'd be like what i'd be like I, I, I would feel so disrespected i would feel the exact same as you i'd just be like what are you what's going yeah. on here like go, you do you value her more than me like she seems more important to you yeah. like you're so willing to make all this effort get on a flight Spend your money visiting this person when your own girlfriend, you don't even want to spend any money no. to go on a date weekend, a weekend away or yeah. something. I would be so confused. I'd be like, what? This doesn't make sense. Yeah. And then if he, you know, got defensive at my point of view, it doesn't sound like he is. It sounds like he's understanding, but then saying he's still going. Mm. So I was like saying, yeah, when you put it like that, how is he saying it? Is he going, well, yeah, when you put it like that, it looks really bad. Mm. Or is he going, oh, I guess when he, you put it like that, it, it does look Yeah, like we don't know his tone of we voice. We don't know his tone. You see, it can look either way. Mm. Well, I think you just say something like, look, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but, but try and put yourself in my shoes. Like, you know that we don't really do much. Or when I suggest things, you say that you want to save and blah, blah, blah. Feels and then like, it feels like at the drop of a hat, you're willing to fly across the country yeah. to spend a couple nights with, you know, your mate, this girl, and just say like, look, you know, just put yourself in my shoes for a second. Imagine yeah. if it was reverse. And you can say yeah. like, look, I'll be disappointed in you if you go, because I thought we were saving and doing yeah this yeah. and doing that and you're just going to blow like all yeah. this cash on visiting this girl that you've always had a crush on and i yeah uh, it, and just see what right. i yeah it's not right I, I i'd be like look it's really going to make me doubt some things yeah to it's going to give me a lot of question marks yeah because you know I, appreciate- I don't i don't know any girlfriend in my life that would be okay with something no, like this not at all so i think you can put your foot down here and say this is really i'm not okay with this making me uncomfortable like yeah. it's like just the same i'm sure he wouldn't want you to go on a, on a little staycation with a guy you've always had a fucking always crush on always had a crush on like what and in a pact with your friend that neither yeah. of you can date that means we've got this pact where we can't date him you know he's so gorgeous but we both uh, love him yeah and, like, he's so resistible and we've he's asked me to go out there and i'm booking a flight and i'm like sophia go 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 yeah. leave your boyfriend at home yeah it's weird (laughs) go spend the money it doesn't matter spend it i know make the memories leave brian at home leave brian at home he'll be fine Mm. he's just your friend at the end of the day isn't he until grabs your face and snogs your face off not friends anymore are we not bloody friends anymore with sexual lovers Mm. this is sophia and chintzia bringing you a broadcast an urgent interrupting this is an urgent appeal (laughs) (laughs) this is an urgent message we need from you. your founders. We need you to subscribe. Absolutely, we do. To we this never channel ask, we, right we, here. We, 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 we ra- don't ask much from you lot. We, you we, know, we don't. Yeah, we rarely ask of this stuff, but we'd like to get to hundred thousand. We want that plaque. It's important to us. That's true. We never had a plaque. You know, because you know where that plaque can go. Right here. Right here on our new shelf. On this bad boy. We need to decorate this bathroom right mm, up. We do. And we've so, never received a plaque in our life. And everyone else never. seems to have plaques. We've never had a plaque. So, so if you happen, would wish, this is, the urgent, this is the urgent call out. Please, thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the episode. Okay, switching gears a little bit. Subject line is comfortable or stuck? Good question. Good question. Hi girls, me and my boyfriend have been together for three years in June. Because comfortability is gorgeous. Stunning. 
But if you're feeling trapped, being stuck, stuck is very different to being comfortable. comfortable. Comfortable is like a fart here and there, burpy burp. Stuck is trapped wind. <laughs> yeah. And acid reflux. Pain. Yeah. Heartburn. Have you ever had heartburn? No, I haven't. Neither have I. Touch wood. Yeah. He is almost 28 and I'm 25. Okay. We've done so much in our time together from traveling for six months. We go to a lot of music events and now we live together in his apartment since April, 2023. Congratulations. So you're coming up to To a a year year anniversary of being roommates. We're always busy doing exciting things together, which I love. God, this is the other girl's dream from the last time, isn't it? But I can't help but feel something is missing. I'm writing in because I don't really feel I have anyone else I can open up with, honestly, and without a biased opinion or them telling others. Aww, Aww. We're here for you. I love my boyfriend so much. He is literally my best friend. We speak almost every, we spend almost every second together. Um, we started off in our relationship having really hot sex and I found Aww. him super attractive, like I'd won the lottery. Aww. But since living together, I find myself being really short tempered and I'm refraining from having sex with him a lot. It's probably been like this for over six months now. Okay. At first I thought my libido was low and convinced myself it was hormones. Yeah. But then I find myself dreaming about other guys and thinking what if scenarios about being single and traveling alone. That, Those that, what if scenarios really. That, that is what would do it. Mm. I think it's that like if I was single and other what would guys. would I be doing right now? And fantasizing. Kind of fantasizing about not being in the situation you're in right now and, and liking the fantasies. Because mm. like if you were so in love and like set, you're like, oh, that sounds awful to me right now. You know? My boyfriend and I get on really well as best friends, but he wants to have sex three or four times a week, which if I'm honest, I just can't be bothered. Is there a certain number I'm meant to be having sex a week? Should I, as his girlfriend, be stepping up and making effort or am I just forcing myself? Sometimes I find us having sex and I'm kind of numb in emotions. I'm not really finding any pleasure in it. Then other times it's great. Yeah. I'm in two minds, whether I'm just comfortable and bored or if I actually need to break up with him. Mm -hmm. I don't want to end it with him as I can see him as a great dad, a lovely, trustworthy, trustworthy partner. He has so many qualities that I don't think I'd find in someone else, Mm -hmm. but also I can't seem to get past this icky feeling sometimes and it's affecting how I act towards him. Do we just spend too much time together? They work from home okay, all day. Okay. How do I find the hots for him again? Is thinking about other men a sign to end it? A side note, there's also some things I'd really love to do whilst in my 20s. One of them being a ski season in Canada, yes. maybe living in Spain for yes, a little bit. Espanol. I'm really adventurous, but he mm-hmm. is not so much. He has a great job, really well paid, loves his friends at home. Whereas I hate my job, England depresses me. Mm. I don't really have many best friends here. I'm mm. an hour away from my family, mm. etc. I'm trying to persuade him to come with me to live in Australia. Bloody permanently next year yeah and i want to create a dreamy sunny life together mm. over there i think i scare him a little bit being so daring mm. but should that hold me back from doing things i'd love to do in life i want to feel like i've ticked bucket list things off my list but also feel a sense of guilt for making him give up things for what i want I can't help but feel I'm pushing myself away and making excuses not to be with him when actually he's given up so much for me. He has agreed to move to Australia. Oh, oh, has he? He quit his job when we went traveling for six months. He moved out of his apartment while traveling. Okay, so he is sacrificing a lot to make you happy. He's not just saying no to your wants and desires. Maybe I'm a little too selfish and need to give more to him and his needs, which I think sex is a starting point. But how do I have more sex with him when I find it so boring? and hard work I've attached some pics as I know you love them thank you Susie thank you Susie oh Oh, Oh, no 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 (laughs) you guys can't break up (laughs) (laughs) wait zoom in on that please (laughs) he's so happy (gasps) oh he's so happy (laughs) oh you guys (gasps) okay Let's think about this. Okay, so when, at, at first, yes, when Susie was saying- You felt like you'd won the lottery. Yes, and, and when at first she was saying about 
wanting to go Canada and go Spain. Australia. And I thought he was like, no, I'm here. Me too. But the fact that he's like, yeah, Australia, let's get it. Let's do this. That, you know, I, and the fact that he quit his job for the six months, that's like that's really huge. impressive. Yeah. Like, you know, wanting to support you, wanting to share things with you. Yeah, wanting to make memories with you. Memories, wanting to be like, yeah, you know what? That scares me. But, but let's, let's do fucking this. get it. You know? I think he sounds great. He sounds <laughs> lovely. <laughs> but, um, but she's feeling like, you're feeling like there is other things I want to do. Is he, and, and, and. I mean, I think if there's one thing, like you, I don't think you should ever feel as though your partner is holding you back. No. I feel it should be the opposite. Like I think yes. you should feel like your partner is your like champion. Yeah. He's motivating yeah. you, pushing you, do this. You need to do that, do yeah. that, do that, do that, do yeah. that. Like they should be really like your like backbone, yeah. you know, re a real supporter. Yeah. You shouldn't ever feel like, Oh, I'm kind of dragging him along and like, oh, he's, is he holding me back? Like that would be a worrying question. Yeah, from 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 doing the things that you want to do. But equally, I don't think he is holding you back because me he too. sounds like he's kind of, you know, yeah, yes, he he's sounds, got a solid job in England and look, he's well, quite like, happy where he is. Yeah. But he doesn't sound like he's shutting you down. No. Like he, he sounds like he's all for it. Shutting you down would be like, no, we're never living in Australia, la la la. That's never gonna happen. Like the fact if that if you want to do that, you're gonna have to do it on your own. Like maybe we need to discuss about us, like mm. if you want to move to you know, but yeah. he's literally wanting to move to Australia. That's such a big that's not just moving to Spain, like that's a big move. That's but moving away from all his family. Australia. Yeah. And being just the two of, two of you. you. Like, do you know how strong you have to be about the other person to go just the two of you to the other side of the world? Leaving his job. Yeah. You know, starting a new, a life. new life. You know, it's not so easy for the family to come visit no you when mates. you're in Australia. Billy, no mates. Yeah, so that really shows us that he... Yeah. Is a, you know, Good really guy. really wants what you want. Yeah. You know, and really wants to share... That's, you know, and, and is willing to sacrifice for you. Mm. So then you're thinking, but but then as an isolated incident, you don't really want to have sex with him. You're fantasizing about other men. Mm. Um, it's hot and steamy. Can't so be bothered was, to it have- It was hot, hot and, steamy. and steamy. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well, you've been together for a few years. Yeah, and you've been living, but, but she's short tempered with him for six months. Yeah. 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 So you've been living together for almost a year and you kind of feel like ever since you moved in, six months in, things have kind of like yeah simmered down simmered a little bit. And you're kind of, he's, because short temper, if I was to get short tempered, then someone's irritating me. Mm. Like someone is like grinding at you and you're like really just, you're, 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 you're Things start tether. to annoy you about them that never used, used to. to. But I also think that, that can come and go that that can there, there can you can have phases mm. you can go through phases and sometimes you might be a mm. bit more like highly strong and like oh you're just pissing me off at the moment and other times yeah. you may not be like yeah. you know if you're going to have a long term relationship you work from home together all week yes. you live together you, yes. neither of you are getting much breathing time yes. but it sounds like you go to music events you do this you do I that know. you sound like you've got a very full I life know. together I know. and I think just because your partner pisses you off sometimes like anyone's going to piss you off sometimes yeah, like anyone. a roommate who you yeah. sit with and work all day all night they're going to start to your, annoy your you your own mother your own father your own family yeah. is going to start pissing you I off I wouldn't think like just because they're annoying you a little bit that the relationship mm. is terrible mm. and needs to end I mean have you two spoke about the sex situation yeah. like it, it, it you know have has it been discussed or mm. has it just kind of you know plateaued and like la 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 because maybe needs to try some new bits out yeah you know because you're saying it's boring and you're just like so tired should we and, switch it up a little so, bit yeah do we need to say you, you need to be honest with him and go look honestly the, this this same sex it's, get, it's you know, getting you know a bit can we mix it up a little bit yeah because look if i'm honest it's getting like, a bit predictable <laughs> he would hate that 
That you know, if you said to him, your moves are getting a bit predictable, cool blimey. I know the go, routine. Yeah, the routine. He's gonna go into overdrive, he's gonna start bringing out the big boys. Maybe that's what you need. Yeah, and you and know, me- strike me at lunchtime. Yeah. Doesn't always have to be 10 exactly. o'clock when I'm fucking knackered and I wanna go exactly. sleep. Exactly. Maybe strike that's what the he iron's needs. hot. Yeah, and just let him know that. But like, yeah. look, I'm up for a bit of, you know, yeah. I, you know, because bit of razzle dazzle. I don't want the same old. Mm. And then maybe that's all it, you need to, yeah, you know, bring get that, it, relight the fire, relight my, my fire. fire. Your, Your love, love is my only, only desire. desire. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I do, I do think like it's so normal and expected to run into hurdles in a long-term relationship, like things aren't expected to be all amazing, uh, yes. firing on all cylinders, everything's brilliant, which is but, but then you should all be able the to time. talk about things, settle it and move on. Yes. I don't like that you've been feeling a certain type of way for six months. Do you know no, what I mean? Yeah. I want you to like discuss it with him or, or, or you know, and because otherwise there's going to be resentment and then there's going to be a big explosion. You're going to be in Australia mm. and then something, you know, there's going to be a big explosion and he's going to say, I've moved my whole life for you. Yeah. And, and you know, and it's going to get yeah. bad and messy. But I would sit with it for a bit longer if I were you. Me too. I think if I was genuinely in this situation, I would be saying to myself, so we're in February. I would be saying, if I'm still feeling this way mm. in July. I can't move to Australia with you. Then we're going to, I'm going to really think about calling yeah. this quits and breaking because up with it, you. It, 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 because you I think to, you, yeah. you know, you need to figure out yourself whether actually this is a phase something that actually in a few months you're going to think, oh yeah, we did go through that bit of a patch, yeah. but I'm not feeling like that anymore. Yeah. Cause I don't know. Sometimes things go that way mm-hmm. in long-term relationships or you're going to be in the same spot that you're in now. And then, you know, like, look, this wasn't something that was going to go away overnight. Mm-hmm. I am actually unhappy in this relationship. Mm-hmm. And as great as he is, and as mm-hmm. all the qualities that I love about him, I'm, I'm not, there's bo- significant boxes that aren't being ticked. Yes. But I don't feel like you're ready to break up with him yet. No. I, I, I think, I, I think you could give it I think you need to figure out whether- I think there's other things to do before pulling the plug. I think you need to figure out whether you want to do these things and achieve these goals while being single. Like yeah. Canada, ski season. Yeah. Did you say Spain? Or am yeah, I making Spain. that up? Spain and the Australia move. Like, do you actually want to do that on your own? Because I feel like you're, adv- you know, you want to mm. challenge yourself in that way. Or do you want him by your side the whole time? Yeah. Like which- I, and that's Which way the is it question gonna go? you need to, regardless of how good he is, like yeah. you can break up with good people, Definitely. good girls, good boys. Definitely. Like, yes, he could be a great dad, but like that's not the We're only not thing there that's going to keep you in a relationship because he's going to be a good father No, one day. he needs to be a good boyfriend first. He needs to be a good boy. He needs to be, you know, fulfilling you in, in every kind of way possible. Yeah. You know, not and just the because- the fantasizing about other people- that, that could just be a, the lack of sex thing at the moment. Yeah. And you may find that in two months time, your sex life is amazing. Yes. And you did say sometimes you've had sex and it is good. So I yeah. think you need to say- Speak uh, about sp- it. Speak about it and say, look, how are you, you know, sorry. If how are you not finding been, it? You know, let's see if we can- what- Should we try something new? Yeah. Let's mix it up. What about a little judging up? Yeah. In the areas? Yeah. I think you just need to like, if I were you, I would just be really monitoring my feelings. Yeah. I would be really, cause you don't want, and I really, you don't want, you know, to start coasting. No. You don't want to stay with someone longer than what's necessary. No. Cause we've all been there and yeah, made that mistake, wasting yeah. both of your time. Yeah. But, um, but it is hard. It's a hard realization to make if, if, if it's on the way out mm. and you know, unless you talk about these things and discuss things with him, it, it could end in you two guys being not together because mm. that's what happens. It's like one person starts getting doubts and then they've had doubts for a year and then internalizing it, it. internalizing it. And, and then we've got to break up. Yeah. But I do think you've, you've, you've got something between you because you've been together for a long time. You live together yeah. now. You're, you're each other's best friends. It sounds like, yeah. it sounds like you've got a lot that's worth sticking around for, but equally like but, it's, <sighs> it's totally fine to break up yeah. with someone who is a good guy exactly. and ticks a lot of your boxes. Uh, and just do not make this Australia move with him. Unless, if you're not sure. If you're not sure, because, you know, we don't want him to quit his job and leave his whole life. No. If you're still not sure. Yeah. Because look, you can go Australia on your own, meet Cody yeah. Simpson, fall Bondi in love. Bondi Beach, and then, let's you go. Know, now you're a Sydney Bondi local and that mm, would be fantastic. That would be pretty nice. 
pretty nice for all of us. I would just keep tabs on it. Me too. You've got a lot to a lot to sort through. Yes, and and, and also there's no rush. No, you know, you, you know, sorting through feelings and how you feel and how you want to move. That they're it can really take time. hard decisions to make. Mm. You know, and you're not meant to know it instantly. Like I want to be. Oh, no, you're not for me. You know. Yeah. It's, it's, and I think that's why I like setting a bit of a timeline mm. because it takes the pressure off. Like I need to decide today. Mm. It's like no, we've got we've got mm. time here. Let me just see what's going on. Yeah. See how I'm feeling. But we don't need to make a hasty decision permanent decision off of temporary emotions we need to figure out if these emotions are temporary or actually if this is just the way my relationship is now the golden rule generally is is if we've got any doubts about anything they're not gonna go away they're probably not gonna go away and we should probably act on them Mm. because you shouldn't really have you shouldn't have any doubts about any kind of decision that's the golden rule so are these doubts end scene (laughs) (laughs) right Susie Susanson here has is in a pickle this is a pickle that would pickle most I think I think so it would it would definitely strike a call with most yeah, and if it didn't, wow, maturity is, maturity is, is through the roof. Suits the, you, the frontal, yeah. yeah, it suits you. So Susie has said here, my boyfriend's mum mm. met up with his ex-girlfriend. Oh, that really stings, doesn't it? That's really awful. <sighs> that's really going to sting that. I think that's, uh, that, would, that would make me cry. It would upset me yeah, as well. I think that would make me cry because I'd be like, oh. oh. But also it's like, you know, the one person that you don't really want to be reminded of is your boyfriend's ex-girlfriend. Well, it's just the fact that like, ah, oh, so you two must have really got along. You're fond of her then. Like your mum, you know, she does, she probably wishes that she was still with you and not me. Yeah. And she obviously loved you two as a couple or- She's got memories she loved of the having two of you, you around. together. You obviously, you know, they had a special bond. And it's just, she, it's loved just her, she loved how, you know, she took care of, care of his son. Yeah. It's just sad, isn't it? It's just like, oh. oh. So dear Sophia and Chinsia, help a girl out, dot, dot, dot. So I've been dating my boyfriend since September. Oh, it's quite new. Quite new, but also, you know, you're in the swing of things now. We met on a night out and he has been so lovely to me ever since. He has planned Valentine's Day completely and even surprised with a trip to Denmark. Cool. Wow. He met my family recently and they all love him. Everything felt perfect and I began envisioning a future together. Wow. However, this weekend when I met his parents, it turns out that his mum met up with his ex-girlfriend of two years on the same day for coffee. <sighs> Not the same day. Double Not cheating. the same day. For coffee. My boyfriend was very open about this and said that there is nothing going on with his ex. However, couldn't I couldn't help but feel really uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah, and also like, is she, if I was the mom, I like would keep it to myself. Me too. You know, like if I felt like I had to go meet up with my son's ex-girlfriend, I'm not fucking telling no one. You know, I'm this is my little secret. secret. And I'm especially, you know, even if I'm telling Brian, <clears throat> my son, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm saying don't, don't, don't tell Lucy. And I, you know, do, I think I would, I, I would respect it for a different day. Yeah, because I would respect the, the same new girlfriend. day. Feels a bit like I'm being cheated on. Y- yeah, and it's like feels a bit raw. You smell of her too. You know what I mean? Mm. Smell her on your lips. Mm. Right <laughs> on your lips. I don't think there was snogging. not quite the lips, but I can smell <laughs> it on you. On you. Mm. His his breakup with his ex was very messy. I found out a, a month into us dating that he had cheated on her on a family holiday whilst she was unknowingly pregnant with his baby, which they decided not to keep. Right, okay. okay. So they've gone to- Okay, I'm understanding a bit more why they have a relationship. Yes, because she Because if my son- She was gonna birth. If my son cheated on his girlfriend- on a poor, poor pregnant On girl. a family holiday that I've probably paid for, I would, and yes. that girl was heartbroken and it's a girl that I've known for two years. I would be meeting up with her and saying, you're better off without him. He's such a, oh, he's a Apologize twat, on, it, on his, but what, 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 I didn't raise yeah. my ass. Cause you know, yes. some mums, you know, they really want to say goodbye to their yes. 
kids partners yes. you know if they've been around you know she's probably been at the house every weekend for yes. two years <laughs> and you know yes we as the kids a lot of meals are like don't fucking message him you're not saying that yeah. no yeah. you can't yeah. but then as you know being the parent mm-hmm. i can see how you may want to you know extend the olive branch mm-hmm. you know especially if my child had cheated on this mm-hmm. poor girl i would say oh, i'm so sorry about him you know and put her through a lot yeah you know like and we, I know that she's gone through a lot. Yes. She's chose not to go ahead with the pregnancy. Yes. You know, maybe she didn't tell her own mum and she only told his mum, yes. you know. And I could see why actually the mum may feel responsible. For like, I've got to see if she's okay. Yeah. I want to check in, see how she's day, doing. She did birth the man who then broke her heart. Yeah, you feel kind of responsible yeah. for her upset. And, and the only mother I know who has been dying to stay in contact with exes is my mom who was gag mm. who who could not let go of my sister's ex and this this X-X-X. was ex 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 fucking hell it was boyfriend number one she's had three sins he was everyone's favorite uh, and he was everyone's favorite and my mom just could not let him go and would she constantly couldn't, text could she? him and would try and you know would w- when she'd say oh my god be you know all over him mm, and she my sister had him. a new boyfriend at the time right so i understand that these mums they get attached because he was actually the first boyfriend in the family yeah so she really got attached and he was so sweet he was just a lovely boy we all miss him we all miss him (laughs) every single one of us you know he made an impact on all of us if he had never left oh well if she had never broken up with him wow life would be so so simple and different so simple but she had to do what she had to do, I yeah. guess. But yeah, so I can I've seen it firsthand, these mums getting so incredibly attached Not being to able these to boyfriends. Let go. And they just cannot let go, mm. no matter what their son or daughter says. Yeah. So and then, you know, we've got to remember, this is my favorite line. You know, our parents are living life for the first time too. I know. They've not done this before either. <laughs> you know, this was the first time that their daughter had broken up with a boy. Yeah, that they loved. That they loved. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it doesn't mean it's not anything bad towards you. It's no. just the mum, you know, fulfilling her own needs to go and, like, see this she, girl you know, she, and see if she's okay. Yeah, she needs to settle her emotions too. Yeah. But she could have done that on a different day. Come on, Helen, Helen. Yeah, it strikes you know. a chord with you because you're like, oh God. Yes. It's hard being the new girlfriend, yes. you know. You want to make a good impression. Right. So when I found all this out, I felt awful for his ex because obviously he cheated on her. Yeah. You know, all of that. She's been through a lot. She's been through a lot. Um, I felt awful for his ex and she never found out about the fact he had cheated. Brilliant. Oh, it also gave me a bit of distrust for his family since they were there and knew, but didn't tell her. Right. So you're thinking, okay, so you're going to keep stuff from me if he ever, you know. D- yeah. Well, the family's in a difficult position there. Yeah. Because. Oh, I, I, if I had cheated on a boyfriend, I'd say, don't you fucking tell a soul. Yeah. And I would yeah, expect my mum my mom to keep my I'd secret. look her in the eyes and go, don't fucking tell anyone. Yeah. Don't even, t- don't tell Jane. Don't yeah. tell no one. Don't even tell your husband, <laughs> my father. <laughs> this is between me and you. Don't even tell you. your own mother, mm, right? Yeah. It's just my dirty little Granny's secret. not finding out about any of this. Granny? I'll give her a fucking heart attack as well. Don't you dare. <laughs> and yes. I would expect my mother to keep that secret. Yeah, and me too. So, so you can't blame the family for backing their own yeah, child. Because, because at the end of the day, their loyalties will lie with, with their child. With their child. And yes, they just love- as you would expect yes. your parents' family's yes. loyalty to lie with you. Yes. But then like saying that, if if I had a son and I knew that he cheated on his lovely girlfriend, I go, Susan, come here. This fucking little prick. Check his fucking phone <laughs> tonight. That's all I'm gonna fucking say. I go. Found, I found the password. <laughs> it's one nine six. My birthday. My birth date. 1976 yeah i'll get him in the kitchen you go upstairs yeah. and get his phone there's something you need to find out mm, yeah on your own mm. <laughs> secret safe for me <laughs> little <laughs> i need to work on my yeah. wings do you know what i mean yeah because yeah. because also like he's cheating on that yeah yeah anyway so i've got this bit of distrust with the family and my loyalty and my loyalty to girls even though i didn't know her made me consider ending things with him oh shit 
Wow. So you thought, look, if you're going to cheat on your ex and not tell her, then and she went through. I'm all not that. sure what you're capable of. Yeah, mm. it's true. But because he told me all this willingly, and because he didn't do it to me, I I felt like I should move forward, but with caution. Fair enough. Yeah, good assessment. He had never given me a reason not to trust him. Okay. He oh, we've got pictures. He also seemed very visibly upset by how he had acted and remorseful for remorseful for hurting her. Okay. Well, that's now, good. Now that I've been told that his mum is still in contact with his ex, I can't help but feel really weird, 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 weird and unsettled. I feel slightly disrespected as the only commonality between the ex-girlfriend and his mum is surely my boyfriend. Oh, the, oh, you're just saying the only thing they have in common is my boyfriend. Mm. Right. Um, the fact that they meet up on the same day as I met his parents makes me feel like they were discussing me or prefer him with her. None of this feels real. Before my boyfriend, I had got myself into a very good mental place and was prioritizing myself. I don't know whether to prioritize myself and my peace again. Okay, so you're thinking like, this is all a bit too much for me to handle right mm. now. Uh, but I know this heartbreak would be severe as I have never felt the way I do for him about any other guy. Do I give him another chance as he technically hasn't done anything wrong to me or do I protect myself from the prospect of getting hurt down the line? Oh, so you're thinking like, I'm not sure mm. if if I can go, go, okay, this is them. Happier times. Oh. Happier times. Happier times, hey? <laughs> In the most respectful way possible, I don't think this has got anything to do with you. I don't think the mum's relationship with the ex. Yes. I don't think the mum's thinking about you in this. I think she is keeping this relationship because she knows this girl's been through a lot. Her, like we were saying before, her son cheated on her, blah, blah, blah. She, I think the mum isn't keeping this relationship to spite you. I don't think mm. she's keeping it to try and make you feel mm. uncomfortable. I think she's more just keeping it for, or has kept it for her own personal conscience and I feel yes. like she obviously she knew this girl for two years she's mm. been through a lot in recent months and she feels a duty of care mm. towards this girl and I I totally understand how you being the new girlfriend because you're living your reality you're thinking oh my god but it's this this new mum and she's busy mates with her and how am I supposed to feel about that but I actually don't think this is about and, you and it's it's not how you dream meeting your no, mother-in-law it's, it's not it? what so, it's not the goal you know not you don't want your boyfriend's mum no. to have a great to be in touch and be in comms no. with their ex but I think this is a partic particular type of circumstance and I do think it it will lessen over time I, I was just about to say that I time goes on that she's gonna move on the, yeah. you know, the ex is gonna move on she's gonna meet a new person you know who's got a new family yeah and she's not gonna be thinking about her ex-boyfriend's mother no you know and wanting to maintain that relationship maybe they'll text here and there happy Merry Christmas, happy, birthday. happy birthday but it won't be like i think because it's still fairly fresh, fresh for both of them like think She's very heartbroken. The mum is like kind of shocked by it too, you know, yeah. because it was a it was a shock cheating mm. scandal. Yeah, but over time, they're not they're they're it's gonna, it's gonna be out. few and far between these meetups. Yeah. Because think my mum doesn't text Lydia's ex boyfriend anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that was fucking five, six years ago. Yeah. It just it fizzles, it fizzles over time. Out. And you know, if they did remain in contact, then mm -hmm. yeah, then that's that's gonna have to be something that is addressed is, ad is addressed right <laughs> yeah but then you know equally in the same breath like if if this all makes you really uncomfortable you can get out of this you don't have to yeah, be with this I, guy I, I, you know if this really if you can't get past this if yeah. you if it makes your blood boil and it's keeping you up at night you don't have to be with this guy and you can no. exit from this situation. And the one thing that I want us all to do is protect our peace. And yeah. It, and, it, and if this is affecting you and you think like, this is this is not for me, like I don't actually want to just get inserted into this situation at all, mm. then get on out of there. And, and, and I support that too, because you know you need yeah. to put yourself first. And if this is, if you're going to start losing yourself or questioning yourself. Second when, guessing. Second guessing, then this is not a situation for you because he should be making you feel secure. And I think he is. It's just the mother. You're just feeling a bit like, oh, you're about the mum's actions. Yeah. But I don't think the mum's, I don't think she's, 
thinking about you while she's no, seeing... No, because she's just met you, she just met you that one time. Yeah, she's thinking about yeah. her own life and she's known this girl for two years yeah. and she's... Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, if you can, I just focus right now on the relationship that you and Brian have got. Me too. Sounds like you two have, you know, really got to a strong place yeah. in terms of like, you know, he's really, you know, he's opened up to you, was emotional, mm. shared that with you, he's vulnerable. Like that's all good things for building like a strong yes. connection. Like he's been honest with you. Mm. And the you relationship know? with the family, that comes later. Yes. And it comes with time. Yeah, and time and patience yeah and, and it's built very slowly and you yeah because you're not gonna have what the mother what the mums had with the ex in two years you're not gonna no, have that after the instantly. first meeting no right? like exactly like that's a lot of weekends together that's a lot of family Time dinners like and, that's a that's a lot yeah so it's you know maybe forgive her for not being as overjoyed you know she's just said goodbye to the other one to the, to, to the other one and now she's all of a sudden welcoming another one she's probably thinking all right fucking steady yeah, on. chill out I've yeah what time to right. process I'm like bloody hell bro that was quick yeah <laughs> you know yeah yeah if it was my son yeah um but I, but you're I feeling no so doubt. valid you yeah, know like, exactly so it's just whether you can just focus on you and brian for the meantime and mm. just get through this period of you know until people have moved on like the ex-girlfriend you know she's got a lot of healing to do herself and she's probably the only comfort she can probably find is with 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 his mother with the, your brian's yeah. mother i don't know yeah um and then obviously and you don't know what's going on in her right, life and she may not may not have that maternal right figure around her and then and the, the mom might be thinking to, i can't say no to seeing susan yeah. like that she's gone she feels you know, responsible my son has put her through yeah so much like yeah. i'll go for a coffee you know you you don't know what exactly and she's not meeting up with her being like, yeah, we hate this new girl. No, she's not. I don't then, think she's, you're not on their radar, I don't no, think. No, because if, if it was that case, like she'd be saying nasty shit about yeah, you. Yeah, she would. Like she'd be making comments to Brian. And, yeah. And she'd be, re and when she met you, she'd be really trying to make you feel shit. Because we've seen that before. Because we've seen that before. And like some of these mother and mothers can be. Very territorial. Very, you know, and make it very clear that you're never going to live up to blah, blah, blah. Mm. You know, and, and then, you know, I'd be concerned. That's a different story. Mm. But it just seems like she's just got herself in the situation i'm sure she's very happy that brian has moved on Me and is too. happy because at the end of the day she wants her son to be happy and if you're making her son happy she is happy she's gonna love you yeah good luck gorgeous should we find a quote yes sir should yeah we find a quote, 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 quote? let's find a little quotey quotey quote well i've just got this big one i've not read it but should we try and read it it's titled don't take it personally brilliant let's go whatever happens around you don't take it personally. Nothing other people do is because of you. It is because of themselves. Even when a situation seems so personal, it has nothing to do with you. No. What they say, what they do, and the opinions they give are projections of their own internal thoughts. Everyone has their own reality. When we take something personally, we make the assumption that they know what is in our reality. Mm. And we try to impose our reality onto theirs. Mm. When we don't take things personally, it gives us more power over our thoughts, feelings, and actions. When we don't take things personally, we recognize the individuality of others. It's Are we following? <laughs> well, I'll get up on the fucking podium. <laughs> speech. <laughs> hey, 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 Parliament speech. <laughs> <laughs> I liked where that was going. It really yeah. resonated with the most yes, recent dilemma. It did. Should I read the final line of yeah, it? Yeah, I may as well the finish it. The truth is, I mean, there's a, shall, I, shall I go on? How oh, long through. is it? <laughs> where was I? Just felt like I was saying the same thing over and over. We have little view. I've skipped a bit. We have little control over how others view us and relate to us. Mm -hmm. We have more control how we view ourselves and the situation and how we respond to it. Last, last para, la last sentence. The truth is that we tend to make assumptions and judgments about other people without knowing the full story. Mm -hmm. And more often than not, we assume about a person is wrong. What we assume about a person is wrong. That was it. Yeah, it's very true. Yes, I like yes, that. Yes, me It's too. a good reminder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers to that, you guys. My ladies and my gentlemen. Okay, if you would like an extra episode of the podcast every single week, we do bonus episodes every single Monday over on Patreon. We do, indeed. There is a whole group chat over there. Mm-hmm. You guys can talk and chat. It's an exclusive place to send your dilemmas. It is a beautiful community over there. If you guys there. didn't know... You can watch this if you're listening to it audioly. We are on the YouTubes. We are on the YouTube, And we have just hit 70,000 subscribers on the we YouTube. Have. And we are very, that's, wow. We feel very impressed by that. Woo-hoo. We're very excited about that. If you email your dilemmas to yes. hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. And you can follow, we're on TikTok, you know, obviously the YouTube. We really are. You know, you're on the Instagram at the girls bathroom. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Have a good week, guys. If yes. you're in the group chat, we'll see you on Monday. Yes. If not, we'll see you back Woo-hoo. here next Wednesday. Woo-hoo. Bye. Woo-hoo. Bye.